stop there to give you a lunch break. And it's usually about 45 minutes, an hour for lunch. Just go off, plenty of places around there where you can get yourself sandwiches, coffee, something to eat for your lunch. And then back on board and we'll do the afternoon part of the tour. And the afternoon part of the tour consists of the uh, St Paul's Cathedral, where I'll be doing a guided tour around St Paul's. After that we head to the Tower of London, and at the Tower of London, again, I'll be doing a guided tour. But that is where Corey leaves us, so the coach leaves us. And when you have finished at the Tower of London, then you take a little cruise boat that will bring you from the Tower right back into central London. And you can either go off at Westminster, which is within walking distance to Trafalgar Square, it's within walking distance to Victoria, or some of you have done an add-on for the London Eye. So if you have done, you've booked an add-on, the cruise just sails across the river to the London. So when people say what time does the tour fit? It just really depends on what you're doing, what you want to do, how long you want. Once you're finished with me, you'll have time to explore the tower and then you decide which boat that you want to take back. And the last boat departs at 5.15, heading to Westminster, yeah? And then when you get off the boat, you do your own thing from there. So does that sound okay? Did you take any scent of that? That's good, that's fine, as I said. That's because I'll be telling you everything anyway. What? So all you have to do now is sit back and relax. Yeah. We pulled in here simply because there was no traffic, so that was good. Yeah. Sometimes we're stuck in traffic, can't we? So fingers crossed. Once you get around without any problems. But looking over there, you can see the Victoria Railway Station. And that opened in 1860, and it was serving the Channel ports. And people would cross over from France, board the trains to come into London. The trains were coming in here. So lots of French people settled around here and 